we're in the Basque country. A quick intro. We start today in Bilbao, Spain at the Hotel Grand Domine. We are about to meet with our Backroads tour group for a multi-sport Basque country adventure. For a little more about Backroads, here's an excerpt from one of their promo videos. When I think about what the benefit is of traveling actively, it's just so much more real, more authentic. You're part of the world you're in. It just feels good. So, after meeting the group in Bilbao, we travel by van to a coastal area near the small town of Deba, Spain. We hike along this stunning coastline. Then we hop back into the van and travel to San Sebastian for the evening. Let's do it. First, a quick breakfast at the hotel. told me there's 25 people on our trip and the multi-sport back roads is this is the second year and it's gotten really popular. So now that everybody's settled in, uh, we're gonna take, and I'm gonna take a few minutes of your time. So I'm from France, so I will be representing the French side of the trip. Guillermo is Spanish, he's from Madrid, I'm from Paris. So I would say like the bad news is we still have to wait two days before we get to France. <laughs> so I'm really sorry about that. No, I'm joking. So that, but that's the good news. The good news is that the two days we're gonna be spending in Spain, it's in my opinion, uh, in the opinion of many Spanish people, it's the most gorgeous region in Spain. Uh, the Basque country, Spanish Basque country is just incredible. So, so we have, San Sebastian, we have after Saint Jean de Luz and Biarritz. We're going to walk from here, that way, following the line of the coast. And you're going to see what we call the flish layers. Has anyone ever heard of that before? The flish layers are a geological phenomenon that is practically unique to here. So what you're going to see are these layers, almost like a cake, of different materials that have been sedimented at the bottom of the ocean that have then been lifted up. And there are different colors, some are darker than others. It's very impressive. This place is amazing a geopark that represents 60 million years of geological history. Now we're moving on down to another hike down the, you can see along the cliffs here and see a couple surfers down there and it's going to be a beautiful hike up the coast. It stopped raining, now it's just beautiful out. But we're still losing our footing on the mud. We had quite a few slip and falls. Woo! Oh, come on. We 
We lost our group for a second, and now we're uh, rushing to get back up with them. I had to stop to do some drone footage. I just could not resist that view. I think if you grab onto the fence with your hand, you'll be good to go. You good? This is very interesting. I think there's like a horse funeral going on. I think there's a dead young horse, unfortunately. Um, and then all of the other horses are standing around very somber. It's something super interesting here. I was just talking to Max, our tour guide, about what I just saw with the, uh, the horse funeral situation. And we talked about how interesting it is in nature where different species will mourn, you know, the loss of one of their own. Lens is getting fogged up. This Panasonic G85 camera is certainly getting a workout today with the weatherproofing. I'm so glad that I spent the extra money and got this uh, camera that has weatherproofing. So far I've been very happy if anybody is into uh, cameras out there. It's raining pretty good, but we're about to the restaurant now where we're gonna have lunch. I'd say this definitely meets the back roads definition. And I believe I can see the restaurant straight ahead. up finally it's so clearing up but we, we're all walking in with our dirty hiking boots from our hike this morning Hello. We set out to explore San Sebastian. on vast studies.
Back at the hotel, we get ready for a welcome reception hosted by Backroads. How beautiful this hotel is, especially at night with the lights. Join us next episode where we wake up in beautiful San Sebastian. We hike a portion of the famous Camino de Santiago Trail. Then we hit the beach where we kayak around the bay and visit the tiny island of Santa Clara.